Have you ever wondered how to turn a soil test like this into a set of organic soil amendment recommendations like this? Well, stay tuned. Today I'd like to walk you through the features of organic health for vegetables. Just uh, give you a little tour here and show you around. So if you already have a Logan Labs soil test report, either a uh, standard M3 or an AA or an AA 8.2 or the BFA Agdyne 3 test, then this form allows you to put those values into it and it will produce a uh, list of OMRI organic amendments for that particular soil. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's get started. Here's the form and I will uh, just start filling it out here. I'm going to put in a test date. Actually, I'm, I'm using a, a real test from back in 2016. This is where I'll put my email address. And uh, just uh, put down what it is I'm growing. And uh, there we go. And select the type of soil test report that I have. So if you have an AA, just go ahead and select uh, AA 8.2. But uh, when you order from our site, you'll be ordering either an M3 or an AA 8.2. So just select the one that you want, and the appropriate boxes will be opened up down below. I just have a standard M3, so I'm going to select that. And here, I, this target cations, um, it depends on the type of soil that you have, your main soil type. So this particular soil that I have is a, it's a <laughs> loamy sand, is what we have here at Rancho Reinheimer. So I'm um, going to put that down in there. So just start filling this out. The items that have the asterisks are the ones that are absolutely necessary for the test to run. So I'm just going to fill those in right now. So here we go. Uh, just copying down what's in the test verbatim. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is as we get down here to the cations, oops, that was the wrong one, is that uh, you'll notice that over here, there's no mention of what the units are, whether it's pounds per acre, parts per million, pounds per 1,000 square feet, or what have you. Uh, no worry about that. As you put the numbers in, Organic Health will figure out what the units are, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's just keep going here, down to the percentages. Da -da. Hope you're doing well today. Sorry, this is going to take a little while to, to fill out. Oops. Plus, I'm, you're discovering I'm not a great typist here. <laughs> OK. So there we go. Now it's filled them in for parts per million. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of these in. And there we go. So those are the numbers. Now, oh good, it looks like this looks like it's a, a good test. There's nothing in the alerts box. So if I had made a typo here, for example, if I typed that as uh, 15 instead of 151, it would have checked and it would be giving me an alert there. So uh, I'll correct that and that's good. Uh, sometimes this will have an alert that you might have fizzy soil. Hopefully you have already done a fizz test before sending your soil in. Uh, we have easy instructions on our website for how to do that. And if your fizz test is negative, you can just click this little button here to override the alert about the fizz test. So um, that's what that does. And here I'm going to enter the area that I want to have amended. In my case, I've gone out and I measured it, 
there's the area excluding the paths and it's just a hundred square feet and I could select uh, units over here I'm just going to go with the standard what we call English units for uh, those of you in England who use metric units and down here this is where I will select the target nitrogen amount so this amount is really based on um, what you're growing and it's a really good idea to to kind of look at what we have written about this to decide how much nitrogen to add if you've read that and you see there's some selections here um, one thing you can do is just enter your own so I'm going to put in 175 really don't need to, to select other for that it's going to be 175 pounds per acre in this case and there are a couple of pull down sources here where you can select the the carbon uh, based um, NPK sources so for example in all your your compost and manures and and uh, all those sort of things there's uh, two options here to select from or you can enter your own and I see for this soil the soil here I happen to know has a has a high pH so it's 7.3 and very low phosphorus so 56 parts per million it really needs phosphorus but because of the pH we're not going to recommend rock phosphate because it's just totally unavailable at pH 7.3 so one thing I can do is enter my own uh, um, amendment here so I'm going to enter the down-to-earth seabird guano which has an NPK of 0, 11, 0 so it's it's got a lot of phosphorus it's going to be more available in the soil at this pH and now I can see down here that um, I've supplied 100% of the nitrogen and 100% of the phosphorus from these amendments here which is great and then uh, cruising on down here there are my amendment recommendations so I'm a rec amending or a recommending azomite that's that's kind of a standard thing for trace minerals sometimes I'll say kelp and azomite um, depending on how much potassium you have in your soil there's quite a bit of potassium and kelp and then here's the seabird guano and the feather meal feather meal is a great source of nitrogen that's why we tend to default to that um, also some elemental sulfur and that's going to help to lower this pH from 7.3 down to about 6.8 it's kind of our target for that and uh, gypsum here for sulfates it needs copper manganese and boron as well so those those are there there's a lot of notes here of things to try you can read these uh, at your leisure you could put in some additional comments here if, uh, if you'd like to comment further on this and down here we get the analysis details so this is just showing for example with phosphorus here's phosphate and the phosphorus uh, component of that we had measured this much phosphorus 112 pounds per acre and we're targeting 250 and so we have that much left to go we have an application limit on that how much we can apply at any one time and here is how much we need and how much we're applying and this is in a pounds per acre um, unit here and uh, that would be with the seabird guano and then here it is how much uh, we had to start with and how much we're applying and then we're bringing that up to 100 percent of our target so here's that same information in graphical form phosphorus potassium sulfates and so on and you can see that um, we had more than enough potassium to start with so we're already over 100 percent of our target but all of the rest of them, uh, magnesium we had plenty of too, uh, we're bringing up to 100%. So that's what uh, this calculator does. It brings it up to 100%. And the targets are really a generous um, 
luxury amount of these nutrients so that your plants really don't have to work too hard and they'll, they'll um, have all the nutrients and given all the other right conditions that it takes to grow a great garden, they, they, will, uh, they will hopefully do really well for you. Um, and this particular graph then just shows us which nutrients are supplying what. So example, for example, is sulfur. We're getting some of the sulfur from the Tiger 90 that we're applying to um, drop the pH, and also a little bit here from the gypsum, which is just to provide sulfate for this year's crop. So that all looks really good. I'm happy with this recommendation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to email myself a PDF of this form. So that's using this email address. I just click that. And there it goes. Okay, thank you very much for watching.